We have new details on a plea deal for the man involved in the deadly Memorial Day crash last year. Channel 8's Matthew Mitleider was in the courtroom for today's hearing and brings us our top story. After over a year since the Memorial Day weekend crash that killed two people and left 20 others injured, Kyvel Stark has now pled guilty to both manslaughter and DUI causing serious bodily injury. On May 29, 2022, Stark was driving down O Street under the influence of marijuana, going nearly 90 miles per hour when he hit another car. The crash sent both cars into a crowd of bystanders who were watching a cruising event. 20-year-old Emily Sibanor and 22-year-old Edith Ermacia were killed, and 20 others were injured. Stark was originally set to go to trial, pleading not guilty. But at the hearing on Wednesday, he entered a guilty plea, which the judge accepted. Stark's attorney, Mike Bianchi, says this is a tough case that many people would like to move past. He feels terrible about it. He feels terrible about what he's done to these families and to his own. And he is ready to move past it and accept responsibility and, and move along with life. And we certainly wish the best for, for the Sibonor and Hermosillo families and the families of the other people that were hurt. This is a ter terrible and tragic thing. I also spoke to Mothers Against Drunk Driving Nebraska, who say impaired driving crashes are preventable. Unfortunately, for victims of impaired driving, there's no closure. There's no future where this is not part of their lives. So while he will plead guilty, while he will see a consequence for his action, these families will never be able to move forward. Car enthusiasts in Lincoln are hoping people will take cruising down O Street more seriously and that more sanctioned events will help prevent incidents. Well, I'm pretty um, impressed that he actually uh, pled guilty. Um, you know, he's man enough for his actions. We really want to try to make it more safe on the roads, especially during some types of events like this that are unsanctioned. With the guilty charges, Stark could be sentenced to more than 20 years in prison. Stark's sentencing is currently set for November 16th at 1.30 p.m. The judge has ordered that he be there in person. Reporting in Lincoln, Matthew Mitleider, Channel 8 News.